Hi, I'm Andrew. My goal is to help Tecla Structure users be as efficient as possible and at the same time minimizing project mistakes. So let's get started. In today's tip, there are two parts. First, how to do area selection to select multiple objects. And second, how to be more efficient by using the shift and control keys. As you can see here, we have three objects. Now, the first bonus tip, making it clear what is currently selected and what isn't, press Shift-5 and Control-5. In this case, everything that isn't selected will be transparent and objects that are selected will be solid. Firstly, let's try to do an area selection from left to right. And as you can see, the objects that are completely in the area will be selected. The third object that was only partly in the area won't be selected. It doesn't matter if you start your selection from top to bottom or bottom to top, the end result will be the same. The only difference is if you're doing your selection from left to right or from right to left. And as you can see, when selecting objects from right to left, all the objects in the area will be selected, even if an object is only partly in the area. In order to demonstrate how the control key can be helpful when selecting, first we select two objects and then holding down the control key, select all the objects. As you can see, the objects that were selected before will be deselected and the objects that weren't will be selected. Let's do it again. Okay, but what about the shift key? As you can see, we have one object selected. Now, holding down the shift key, do the area selection again, and you can see all of the objects inside the area will be selected. Use the shift key when you want to add objects to the selection, not take them away. In many cases, we can use a combination of both shift and control. First, use the shift key to select a large number of objects, and then the control key to deselect the objects we want to exclude from the selection. Not only can these keys be used efficiently for selecting different objects in a model, but they can also be used for selecting different objects in lists. For example, control shift I here, hold down the shift key, select the first view and the last view that you want, and then everything else in between gets selected as well. A practical use for the shift and control keys is selecting views and generating general arrangement drawings. Another good use case for these keys is for selecting different drawings from the document manager. Use the shift and control keys to make your selection. By the way, this doesn't only apply to Tecla structures, but you can use them everywhere in Windows as well. For example, selecting different files in your computer. So how about another bonus tip? Well, here we go. To select all objects, use Control A in Windows or in Tecla structures. Many Tecla structures users know how to do selections from left to right or right to left, but don't forget to use the Shift and Control keys to be more efficient as well. And also, don't forget about your bonus tip, Control A to select everything. You can find a link to a PDF containing all of today's tips down in the description and be sure to check out all of our other tips and articles as well. If you like today's Tecla's tip, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well and you'll be first to know when we publish something in future. See you next time.